He suddenly felt strange. His entire body started to tingle. His stomach felt queasy. He shut his eyes, trying to force the strange feeling away. But the tingling grew stronger. He heard a shrill whistling sound in his ears. His muscles started to ache. He could feel the blood throbbing at his temples. You can't scare me. Not with the basement of black and me. Maybe a sentient dummy. Ba-dudes. Welcome to Colin All Creeps. <laughs> well, it's a podcast about goosebumps once again. I'm Winnie Pooh. I'm here with Pignut. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really great that we have Owl. <laughs> oh my god, it's great here in the Shire. Where'd they live? The Shire. <laughs> I imagine it's the Shire. Christopher Robin is a little boy who hangs out with dolls. Nothing. If if uh, anybody's listening out there, if my voice just got softer, it's because I came in too hot and I have adjusted the levels. Poppin' well, peas. Poppin' well, peas. Welcome to the... We read the Goosebumps books so you don't have to. And this time, we had some assistance for the heavy lifting. That's right. If you uh, pay attention to our social media, you may have seen a video where I got a tattoo on my leg from a talented young lad. Um, we discussed a whole lot about horror and other things. We have Lou here. Boo dudes. Hey, Lou. <laughs> hey. Thanks for being on our podcast. Uh, I love it. Thanks okay. for um, leaving your mark on, on old Pignut over there. Nice. Pignut? <laughs> are, we, are, we, are we good with that? <laughs> How do we get there? I don't. I don't. Yeah, that's not really a thing that's canon yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm sort of making it canon. We we're calling you Winnie Pooh. Yeah, and actually, last time I think I was Pigna and you were Winnie Pooh. Oh, so like role reversal. And- yeah. Now it's Freaky Friday. Nice. Damn. Hell yeah. Lindsay Lohan. Yep. Boobies. Remember boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Remember yeah, man. The- that's hot, as Paris Hilton would say. Mm-hmm. Same era. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so Lou, tell us. A little bit about yourself. You're a tattoo man. How long have you been an artist? I have been, well, I've been an artist my, almost my whole life, but I have been tattooing about 21 years now. Wow, awesome. Yeah, long time. Yeah. Long time. <laughs> and uh, is there something you feel more comfortable tattooing, like an area of, you know, like, like genitals and stuff? <laughs> <I mean? laughs> well, okay, we're there. Will you tattoo yeah. Matt's gender? Oh, is yeah. The, oh, what my I'm God. You know I would. Extra. Absolutely. Awesome. There's a secret bond there that, you know. Yeah, yeah. I would like more veins on my dick. <laughs> oh, nice. It's so small that there's not, like. Not enough veins? Not enough veins. If you hold really tight like that and just. I know. try to stretch it like a <laughs> fucking. We're thinking like Ren and Stimpy. Oh, that's <laughs> like, excellent. Yeah. Zoom in. Uh-huh. The, like, like a sweat marks. like like a Ex- nice. Exactly. Disgusting like hair follicles <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Like and bumps. I want the opposite. I want mine to look like uh, like an anime. Like, you know, the nice. tear that runs from their head when oh, like they're flesh, embarrassed? Flesh color ink to like yes. get all the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, no, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> is there like a like black and white a style. color oh, a t- a style? At this point, prefer? no, not really. Okay. No. I'm kind of well versed in whatever. Awesome. Which and you can see on his Instagram. That's yes. right. Critical yep. Hit Tattoo. Critical Hit Tattoo. Dot com. Tattooing out of Somerville, New Jersey. Can we say that? Is that okay? Yeah. Did it bleep it out? Okay. Yeah. Don't go there and murder him. Don't murder him. Just pay him for tattoos. Bring those new Fruit Loop Pop Tarts. Oh, oh, those exist? Yeah, they're at Walmart, I think. Shit. Now, yeah. can someone pay you in all Fruit Loop Pop Tarts? That's a lot of Pop Tarts. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought Pop Tarts for the first time in a, a long time. Mm-hmm. And usually, not a big fan of the generic strawberry because, I mean, like, that's like the vanilla. Because there's so much more. Yeah. But, like, when it came to getting back there and getting that warm hug of Pop-Tart, I mm. needed that strawberry. Yeah, but also now it's, like, way advanced. There's, like, soda-flavored Pop-Tarts and stuff. Yeah, no it's way. Like too out of control. Like, Yeah, it's too artificial. So right? let me ask you guys a question. When you approach the Pop-Tart, what is the way you eat it? Uh, eat it from the top. Down. Top down. Like, 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 a, like a cannibal? I don't bite like from the through side. The, through the I don't even. So what I usually do is uh, I bite through the carapace, and my wow, p- my word. proboscis mm. goes in, sucks all the fluid from the middle, like a mosquito, wow. like a mosquito. Wow. Yeah. So you like like tunnel it out almost, like hollow it out. Yeah. Okay. That's excellent. And Matt, then I cry. Um, <laughs> wow, well, that's how you end most activities, right? Yeah, it's that's true. how I do. Um, I haven't eaten a pop tart in a long ass time, mm. but. 
Let's I, go back in time then. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to this ass time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably high school, and I would just eat them out of the package. I like the cinnamon sugar ones. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Good choice. Just kind of rock them. Yeah. You know. You could get them out of the vending machine, I remember. They cared about health in high mm-hmm. school, which was nice. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you could just kind of down those. 75% of your carbs for the day. Mm-hmm. I was Perfect. rocking and rolling. Yeah. yeah. Both? You'd eat both of them? Yeah, for nice. sure. So I, I never really toasted them. I put them in the microwave. You ever butter the back of them? No. Holy shit. No. That sounds I've heard incredible. About that. Wow. People have done that. You butter the back of them, put them in the toaster. Never done it yet. Mm-hmm. I've never had my back buttered. We all know that's not true. <laughs> what about you? What's your pop tart? I'll do the I'll do the eat around the the crust and then go right to the good stuff in the middle. Oh that's yeah, my, oh, that's a good. So technique. like an uncrustable. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite flavor? Never had an uncrustable actually. Me neither. I'm allergic to peanut butter. Nobody murder me. Wow. What? Uncrustables? That's because is there peanut butter? My in them? wife is trying to kill me. All right, so uh, producer Chib is in the next room. Yes. Pull behind the curtain. We're doing this from uh, my house. Yes. Which is, you can probably hear because the, the reverb in here is a little nuts. Oh, my God. The acoustics are crazy. Well, can you Multiple doors. It? Yeah. Because this whole room is made out of brick. It's just drywall <laughs> attached to brick. Nice. Sorry. Gaff noise. Got it. <laughs> it's fine. Was so, that 80-yard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bleep that out. There's We're all going to cut soap now. Uh, <laughs> so this is Monster Blood 3. This is book number 29. 29. Mm-hmm. Rapidly approaching the midway point. Mm-hmm. I did the rough math on this, and I, we have about a year and a half left of this podcast. So Fine. soak it up while you can. Wow. Fuck you guys. <laughs> We're almost out of here. Only 36 months to get now. What's, what's a math, the math sucks. 30 so months. This book came out in March of 1995. Hmm. So uh, let's take our time and place. Do it. March of 1995. I don't know what I was up to. It was easier to do the last time. But uh, March 95, I was uh, celebrating St. Patrick's Day, Dave. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I was probably working at Pathmark overnight. That's cool. Yeah. I uh, was lo- at a loss to say my girlfriend was born the, the book before this. Oh, boy. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Right? We- weird. But uh, so the song... <laughs> Top song this month is Take a Bow, my Madonna, which okay. I, I had to... Uh, oh, which, that's what that was. Yeah, yeah. but like, because... Why? It, comedic timing. Why? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's quintessential 90s. Yeah. A lot of layers there. It reminds me of like, it's like, the beat is like Dove Soap. Like, it's just, mm. it's got a little lotion in there. It's real It's very smooth. soothing. Yeah. But I know that song. I had no idea it was called Take a Bow. No, me neither. Yeah. I so, thought it was called Why Oh Why. Yeah, that's what I would think, too. This song is over the Take a Bow. Right? Take well, it's right there in the title, what you just said. I know, but I, that's because I'm piecemeal. I had no idea oh. what the words were until now. <laughs> yeah, I thought uh, she said Say Goodbye, not Take a Bow. So the movie, mm. top movie was uh, Outbreak. Oh, okay. Cool. It's about not the top movies. movie though, which um. is better, is a Man of the House, starring Chevy Chase and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Ah, uh, JTT, my dude. I don't even know what that movie is. <laughs> so it's like Chevy Chase. I Chevy think, Chase in the nineties. So it's Chevy Chase, and it's like I think he becomes like Jonathan Taylor Thomas's stepdad, and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Let me tell you, he's such a rascal, mm. and things yep. they get a little crazy. Mm. Yeah, nuts. How many racist things does Chevy Chase say in that movie? Hmm. What about the one Jungle the Jungle? Oh, is that Chevy Chase? <laughs> that was Tim Allen, I think. Yeah. Okay, there were so many movies where it was like Jonathan Taylor Thomas is a kid that nobody wanted, and then this <laughs> white guy has to be his dad. <laughs> That's right. He sucked the most in the nineties. <laughs> I just can't wait till we can talk about Indian in the Covered. That movie's fucking wild. Yeah. Oh boy, yeah. That kid learns about racism and death real quick, <laughs> all because somebody bought him furniture. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, I know we usually get some different like uh, events, and we were doing good events, bad events. We're just gonna talk about sports because if I know one hmm. thing about Lou, it's because he loves <laughs> sports. You're a sportsman. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite sport? Oh, uh, football. And the uh, Denver Colorados is my favorite team. <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> yeah. Matt, you're wearing a uh, Baltimore Orioles hat. That's Orioles. right, baby. Heard of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Are you a bird watching fan, or is that some sort of baseball? This is just for the bird. Okay, good. I thought that was the Padres. <laughs> <laughs> I actually bird, right? don't Padres? really like the Padres. Oh, really? The birds. <laughs> We're all on the same page? I don't like the bird. Trying to make the a padre. joke. Trying to Wait, make there a... is a real bird Padre? No. Oh. <laughs> Try, <laughs> trying to make a joke that I like the... Uh, where is it? Where are the Padres from for this joke? San Diego. Oh. I like the San Diego daddies. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See, nice. we got there. That's okay. hot. Yeah. I needed help. So yeah. this one's all about sports. Because mm-hmm. we do them. Yeah, I've done yeah. a sport. Yeah, I've sported. <laughs> if, it's, if it's not hockey, I don't know what it is. It's the All Star Game. Yeah. If you, Math, if, Matthew Barzell's fastest skater in the NHL. He won money. Is Good football boy. really your favorite? No. no. Oh, okay. Do no, you like he doesn't any sports? do sports. Basketball, I guess. Okay. But only through NBA Jam. Okay. Well, I was going to so. say, okay. talking about sports, how many <laughs> NES games have you fully completed and oh. how many left? This is a very interesting okay. thing about Lou. So, for those who don't know, I've. I'm, Rebeating all my original NES games on the original carts, uh, and uh, I have learned to hate Nintendo mm. and those games with such a passion. I've smashed these games. I've thrown them out the window. Of you know, it's it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Just the level of difficulty. The level of difficulty, and I'm using. I'm cheating. I'm using. <laughs> well. <laughs> Wow. My, my cat dirt bike just fell that jumping onto a box. Wow. That was a sweet stunt. Yeah. It was pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, you were yeah, talking so, about something. So anyway, so long story short, so I'm trying to beat all these games, and I'm up to 190 games so far. And wow. I got like maybe 40 to 50 left, and then I'm done. And wow. to tack on to the sports thing, uh, the football games, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know anything about football, so I can't play them. The hockey games are actually pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, basketball games have no no idea what's going on. Even the, re- <laughs> even the wrestling games suck, and I love. I'm a huge wrestling fan. And even the sure. wrestling games suck so yeah. bad. So they didn't NES get... sucks. I'm sorry. Let's move past retro. PlayStation Five is about to come out. Like I'm yeah. done. I'm done with the retro. Comparatively, everything. it offers yeah, you I'm very just little. So done with retro. Well, it's just fair, nostalgia. I'm a huge yeah. Game Boy fan, and to be fair, if it's not a, if it's not an RPG or a puzzle game. Not worth having it on a handheld. Really? For free. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Like for like, Because I'm playing things like Mega Man and stuff like that. When you have it that small with that yeah, slow flame rate. And you, and you like only have four. Yeah, you only have four different textures of gray. Mm-hmm. It's rough. But yeah. you're playing Dr. Mario. You're playing like yeah. Pokemon, stuff like that. It works great. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, this is sports. <laughs> so yeah. on March 9th, hmm. the baseball awards a franchise to the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Okay, good. Expansion team. Expansion team. That's right. So you know sports. Yeah. On <laughs> March 17th, uh, oh, I guess I forgot that I was doing sports. So this one, let's imagine it's about sports. The U.S. approves the first chicken pox vaccine. <laughs> Wait, in 95? Yeah, isn't that it nuts? It took to 95 to do that? So something that's crazy that we can still get, what is it? Um, chicken pox? No, no, no uh, shingles. Pie? What is it? Oh, oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like we're older and we didn't have yeah. it. Yeah, because if you had the virus, you can still right. get it. So, right. did you guys ever have chicken pox? Yes. yes. Okay. You? Yeah, I had the chicken pox on my wiener, <gasps> and I was told to not pick it, and I picked it off. So there's like a weird chicken pox scar on there now. So it's faded, but it's still there. I'm Prove afraid. It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm afraid we're gonna need some proof. <laughs> Uh, on March 18th, a day after, he was so excited about chicken pox going away that he announced he was ending his 17th m- month NBA retirement. Who is Ooh. this? Michael Jordan. Oh. Michael Jorpin? Michael Jorpin. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard You may him. know him from Space Jam. <laughs> That's right. On March 25th, the boxer, Mike Tyson, re- was released from jail after serving a three-year sentence. Wow. Yeah. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is a uh, really difficult game. Mm. It sure is. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. It's crazy that with NES, there you're still learning about different games now. How well, it was last year that somebody found a tell in the crowd of David Mike Tell? Tyson's Punch Out. David tells there, Whoa. and he's just like, oh, "I smoke cigarettes <laughs> and it's late night. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens." <laughs> uh, but in the background, in the crowd, somebody moves every single time Mike Tyson's about to use his move. Oh. It's to the point where even if you were completely honed in on it it won't really help you but they found this about this game like yeah it doesn't matter because that game is so hard i've only beaten mike tyson once in my entire life that's all you have to do so beat it once that's that's it yeah Yeah. i've never made it to him then i sold it because i don't care anymore you don't give a shit i've never played that game get fucked mike tyson (laughs) wow there's a 
He's never going to listen to this. <laughs> really fucking annoying commercial on Adult Swim for like a Mike Tyson cartoon. Have you seen this? Yeah, it's like a super, fr- it's like a Mr. T and Friends, like okay. reimagining. I hate I've it. never seen it, but. The commercial bothers me so much. He says like uh, a TBH. Yeah. Lauren, just help me out with that. Yeah, he says TBH a million times. It's like, that's the joke is that he keeps repeating like TBH again and again. And then he goes TBH, to be honest. In Mike Tyson voice. Like, that's the... It's so fucking... Anyway, I gotta go. (laughs) That's a funny joke. Yeah. So, the book. Some news about this book. Of course, we know that we have done two Monster Blood so far. That's Mm. right. We're not even done after this. There's four. There's four of these fucking books. What else will grow, Dave? I don't know. Hmm. Fiveology. They've already done... I don't know what for. Oh, Quadrology? Quadrology? I don't know. I don't know what any of these things are. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> like a trilogy. But yeah, it's trilogy, oh, but other one more it. than trilogy. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so this book is I get it. reprinted multiple times. It was reprinted r- r- in r- reprint. a Monster Blood collection in 1995 and again in 2003. Then the last time it was reprinted was in 2007, which means not a lot of them are out there, which means that uh, Amazon wasn't able to get me my book in time. So these are more rare then. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I did buy it on Amazon, and it's coming late, but I did buy it with shipping for $4. Okay. Hey. So, well, it's, it's rarer, but it's like Beanie Baby rare. That's like retail price, basically. Um, some interesting things, <clears throat> what we learned um, about our buddy, Tim Jacobus, artist yes. for the original Goosebump books. Mm-hmm. Something that he did, uh, going back to his past, is that he gave every single character um, the... Converse All Stars. That's right. As he cool. always wore and continues to wear, and they're front um, be- and center here. Yes, mm-hmm. they are. So this is one of the books where he was really able to display the Converse All Stars, which we see because the cover is big kid feet walking towards a tiny, tiny playground. Right. So in this cover, are you supposed to look at it and be <laughs> terrified that there is a giant kid coming to squish you or stomp on you? Is that what the ter- is that what it's supposed to? Convey invoke. or invoke, yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know that it's <clears throat> supposed to be scary. Like these covers, it's a cool cover. It's a great yeah. colors and it's an awesome cover. I think his intent is just to represent, yeah, the he, title basically. Right. Because <laughs> the, the thing that's really impressive about these books is like they were churned out month by month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which like to write this full book and then have mm-hmm. to do one like. We're trying to read one of these books right. and do a podcast with it every two weeks, and that's a lot of work to mm-hmm. write one a month, but then to paint a painting every month. Yeah. Yeah. And it's only what he's given. They're like, hey, it's about a, a kid who gets big. He goes to a playground. And he's like, all right. And he churns it out. Yeah. Um, on top of having another job, like he wasn't only getting paid and living his life by doing one Goosebumps cover a month. So, no. I mean, this was on top of what he had. So on top of that, there is a character named Kermit. Inexplicably. Oh in this book. And believe it or not, the inspiration for Kermit was from Kermit the Frog. Whoa. Oh. Never heard of what is that? It's this thing called Muppets. Okay. You know Yoda? No. Oh. You'll you won't understand. Kidding, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I hate that. You're sitting on that? <laughs> uh, the people love it. What that else you want me to do? That was a good joke. Waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I am Luke Skywalker. What else you want me to do? So, uh, <laughs> was, I don't want to go into. You ever hear? Oh. It was actually not Darth Vader. It was Cookie Monster. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> the last the last podcast how you were, uh, your pet peeve is the um, Pokemon. Oh, people doing Pokemon. So I actually yes. have a great Snorlax that I would like to lay on you. <laughs> So, Fuck. Let me Please lay on me, Snorlax. Okay. <clears throat> AIDS. <laughs> right? Dude, that was just like the Dude, anime. Like, seriously. Oh, my God. Someone just like it. <laughs> Holy shit. Funny uh, story. Today was Pokemon Day at my job. Hmm? Uh, one of my jobs, Zap Comics. Um, and it was a big Pokemon sale. Thought it would be funny, my boss, to buy a $25 Pikachu uh, like mascot costume that blows up. Oh, man. So that I, was only 25 bucks. It was only 25 It was bad. incredible. Right. So I was dressed as this giant blow-up Pikachu all day. And my favorite thing to do was uh, stand outside of the shop, 
Well, our buddy Joe, mm-hmm. Joe Ott, mm-hmm. uh, Zap Comic Con, and uh, fame of multiple bands, Chained to the Dead. Check yeah. them out on yeah. Bandcamp and anywhere else music's found. Um, they would hang out outside. And I would pretend to be just one of those blow-up things you'd have in your yard. Oh, and yeah. when the kids would come over to take a photo in front of me, I'd jump up and down and start dancing and scare the shit out of them and their parents. Nice. So. And then I would go, Pikachu. Like that. That's how I would say it. I'd <laughs> like, be like deadpan it? Like, they'd be like, hey, Pikachu. And I'd be like, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like shake their hand. And I would run fast at people and it would scare them. Nice. With like a weird like rubbery sound. Yeah, it was like... And they'd be like... Like little kids were freaking the fuck out. Very funny. Did it sound like 90s nylon Yeah, it was all nylon. It sounded like I was wearing my UFO pants. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And I was running. Did you fart inside this... So the big thing is we discussed... Oh, man. That if you did fart, you'd be dead. So I did not. Oh. Mm. So Kermit, uh, Trigger, which is the dog from the past two books, was named after Roy Rogers' horse, Mm, which I imagine is the horse that they make all of the meat out of at the Roy Rogers' Delicious. (laughs) Right. Yeah. But the French fries you could put in your belt and save them for later. It's true. It has a little belt clip on it. So. Great. Does it? Yeah, it's got like a little belt clip, so you like attach to your belt wow. and look on French fries. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So and then you when you're done, be... cell phone holder. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> greasy, greasy cell phone holder. Yeah. I thought when you were done, kill yourself. But <laughs> you know, <laughs> or like you just uh, die naturally, or, or just garbage. But yeah. <laughs> so Kermit, as we learn, is a scientist. Um, but he's referenced in a Give Yourself Goosebumps book called Beware of the Purple Peanut Butter. Um, and I should. Whoa. Yeah, man, you whoa. should. You should. Mm-hmm. Um, but he is referenced as an adult scientist in the future. So it's a book mm. in the future. So apparently he continues to live on. Right. Connected spoilers. The universe. And yeah. they keep it going. Mm-hmm. So that's what I have about time and place. One thing I want to point out. Also, this is March 95, right? Yes. The It looks like T. Jacobus did this ahead of time. It has T. Jacobus 94 on the oh. cover. Ooh. So that's kind of interesting. Maybe an He's unused. Getting ahead of it. Like an unused painting he recycled, maybe? Well, it technically I could have been for two. Because in two, he does make himself big to fight the hamster. Right. Mm-hmm. That's true. So who knows? Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll have to call him. See what's up. Yeah. Well, that's it. It's a great podcast. Great episode, yeah, awesome. as usual. Awesome. Um, the book starts and Evan has a <laughs> Vietnam flashback about <laughs> monster blood. He do. He do. Yeah. Keep going. I just talk something. Oh, okay. okay. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just wanted to spring in. Yeah, it opens with a dream. Uh, Evan is doing some shit with Trigger, right? Trigger is big in the dream. It's also revealed in the uh, dream that uh, Monster Blood has COPD because it's like wheezing and <gasps> right. doing that a lot. So yes. it's got some breathing issues. Right, but they have it up asthma with... asthma or whatever. Yeah, full-time, like, fresh oxygen. Yeah. Let me tell you, it makes a lot of sick-sucking noises. It so do. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot in this. So he has this thing, and then what's happening? He wakes up, and he's having breakfast. And, of course, yeah, like a... anybody, your mom would give you green jello for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, he's not even... I didn't catch it. It was breakfast. It's not even a dream. It's a daydream. Oh, oh never mind that. So... But you're right. Like Evan is eating green Jello, and his mom is like, "You're gonna be late to school." And he's like, "Mom, don't give me green Jello. It reminds me of the monster blood." And she's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> well, something weird about this book too is that, like, some of the other characters are like, "Oh yeah, monster blood." When you fucking fought that monster hamster in our school, and they reference it. Yeah, that's what I want to dig into since this is the third book. Is there? Like, is there a mythology around the monster blood itself? Like, like, do people remember that there was two other instances of monster blood that happened pre- in this town or seemingly at no. the school or it no. just, nah, just pretty it's much erased. just Conan? Yes, who sucks? Conan yeah. is the bully, and uh, well, Kermit sucks more than Conan. I would argue that's yeah. probably true. Yeah. Yep. You can be bullied two different ways. That's what we learn here. Wow. I like, I like Conan more than Kermit because Conan is about one thing he wants to make you he wants to punish you but he wants to do it physically because he's a fucking neanderthal Mm -hmm. kermit will like come up with a scheme to like make you like peel your own eyelids off your face and eat them and like Mm -hmm. rip your dick off with a potion i hate it he's like a dumb little wizard (laughs) this kid (laughs) makes crazy shit that like 
constantly throughout the book, he'll make potions that, like, if he made one of them, like, the government would find him and shit yeah. would be nuts. Yeah, but, like, yeah. every day he can just make something that just, yeah. oh, shit, how did I make something grow infinitely? Yeah. It's just. He's like, this one makes your teeth turn into toes. <laughs> and yeah. it's like, well, why did you make this? How did you make this? <laughs> and, I, and I have that. He, in two instances of his concoctions, uh, one could possibly have been meth because it was, like, blue in color. Yes. And then the other one was some kind of crystalline substance, which is totally bath salts. Yeah. So, <laughs> He's really it, a drug dealer. Yeah. So the kids in his basement screwing around with – and yeah. all the all the listing, the chemical names, I looked them all up because I'm like, oh, maybe, like, RL did some research and maybe it's, like, wow. a, like a funny – like a like a funny chemical combination for like Kool Aid or something stupid like that, yeah. but they, it's all cockamamie nonsense. <laughs> yeah, it's all a bunch of words that so, are thrown together, and then everything every time I typed in the words, it would come up as Monster Blood Three, Monster Blood Three, Monster yeah. Blood Three instead of actual like, like compounds, like a, like a funny thing, like oh this 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 compound is actually really like like cherry flavored, you know whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this, I was thinking that too. Like, remember being a kid and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do science, and you're like, cool. So I smashed up this cake and put it into this Diet Coke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I drank a bunch of yellow number five, and now my sperms are dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I put Mountain Dew with Diet Mountain Dew yeah. and made half Diet. <laughs> Combine all the colors of Mountain Dew together. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, the I mean, this book. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, could, Max. Go ahead. Could truly, we could finish this summary in ten seconds. I know I say that all the time, and then it's always an hour and a half podcast. I know every time we, we're like, we're gonna blow through this one quick. But <laughs> it's just that Evan has a cousin named Kermit. Kermit sucks, so Evan tries to get back at him by using the monster blood. Oops, he eats the monster blood, which is insane. <laughs> and he gets big, and then he gets small again. That's yeah, the nutshell, book. Yeah. It was not good. Mm-hmm. Signing off. So we're good. <laughs> well, there's stuff that happens. Yeah. Like, there is. Uh, so he's watching Kermit because he's the babysitter. Yeah, Kermit's eight, mm-hmm. and uh, Kermit's like a like as we said, fuck that kid. Yeah, he's yeah, terrible. He's like a little lab in his basement. Not only that, but I mean, think about how far we've come with minimum wage and whatnot. <laughs> where this. He's he's watching this little fuck for three dollars an hour. It's insulting. Saving yeah. up for that walk, man. He needs a walk. <laughs> he needs man. that walk, man. He's gonna have to put in a lot of fucking hours. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, but Big Willie style is gonna be out in a couple years. And <laughs> it's let me tell you, life. wouldn't be caught dead without that walk, man. So, how much is a walk, man, in nineteen ninety five? Seventy nine ninety nine. Really? You think that much? I don't know. Uh, I they probably start at thirty nine ninety nine. I'm gonna say, mm-hmm. and go up depending on your anti shock. Right, your right. skip protection, the 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 flip over automatically. Yes, yep. Mm-hmm. All right, all that. Blue, shit. what do you think? Uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty nine ninety nine. Oh. <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> You guys thought I was actually Googling like how the price was, but yeah. I just wanted to price Yo, you're right. <laughs> yeah. uh, right song. God damn it. Uh, One dollar. One dollar. But uh, there's no redeeming qualities of Kermit at all. <laughs> there is no, there's no interesting facets of his personality. There's no, there's nothing uh, to this. There's not even substance to the character other than he's just like a, a terrible, terrible person. Yeah. Well, Dave, you know what they say. It's not easy being Kermit. <laughs> Is that a rainbow connection? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hate that. It's time. Yeah, you gotta stop. <laughs> for my auto fellatio. <laughs> oh, yes. Producer Chip would like to now do an impression for Yay! Dave. Yay! <laughs> Here, take this. No, oh, it's okay. better not be a Pokemon or I'm gonna die. No, it's a Miss Piggy impression. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Wait, wait. Could you also do your uh, Chibi Armstrong? <laughs> this is my wife's Louis Armstrong impression for Dave specifically. <laughs> Get as close to Dave as possible. <laughs> She's leaning in. She's getting ready. And I think to myself, <laughs> what a wonderful world. <laughs> nice. Wow. Nice. Yay. Excellent. It's like he's in the room, but he's dead. Mr. Mime. <laughs> Actually, I have one more Pokemon impression. Oh, yes. Do you? I have a, a gulpin for you. Gulpin? Gulpin. Ready? 
Wow. Spot that, on. That hurt. I, Spot on. I don't, I don't know what it, they sound like, but that sounded like it would. That, was, yeah. that sounded like you were gulping. <laughs> yeah. By the way, around 100 bucks. Gulping this passion fruit. Oh, okay. Around really? 100 bucks, it says. For a Walkman in 1995. Yeah. For like a Sony Walkman? The, wow. For like name brand Walkman. Wow. Yeah. It's intense. Around a hundo. So that would take months. <laughs> months of $3 I mean, dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. That's, Any, do you guys ever babysit? Um. Oh, I did. Yeah. Um, I did babysit, and uh, not for money, just for, for, like neighborhood kids and stuff. Yeah, but I remember <laughs> to be one, to be around kids. There was this uh, this one story, uh, and I don't even know where this kid what would happen to him now. But we were babysitting him, and we locked him in a toy chest and said he died. He was in a coffin, <laughs> and then, and then he started freaking out and trying to get out. And oh, that's then, weird. Um, we I had this like crazy scary groomy for mask, so we opened it up oh and God. I was looking in on him. And I just heard this this cry, this like soul crushing like terror cry, and, and you know that like planted like this like spike of fear forever like in his the therapy bills now. Are <laughs> yeah. I've been watching Dexter, and I, that's like his his murderer origin, right? What like, being trapped in a in a toy you're chest? like what being trapped and thinking he was gonna die, and yeah. then me dressing up as death and coming to take yeah, his soul. Come on, <laughs> come on. Well, if you put it in that way, I mean, you know, everything sounds bad when yeah, you say it. Come on, uh, dude. there were these kids that went to the church that I didn't even go to at this point, and they were like, "Yeah, you could watch them," and they were like super church kids. Mm. They were basically like Rod and Todd from yeah. the Simpsons, and they were like, "We gotta watch." Like, do you like superheroes? And I'm like, "Yeah." So they took out Bible Man. What's Bible on man? DVD? Oh, guys, let me tell you, you need to Google Bible man. Bible man. It was like a video where it's like if your kids like uh, superheroes, but you want them to stay holy, look up Bible man. Mm. And Bible man was a live action superhero story. Oh God, it's like Steel, and it, it looks it was or, like this. or Beetleborgs. It, fucking <laughs> it looks like an Animorphs. It looks cover. like it's yeah, still going yeah. and they have a CG one. Wow. Right. Look up Bible Man. It's fucking awful. Anyway. What was everyone's first DVD? <coughs> DVD. It was the first one you bought. Mine was Double Take. John Claude Van Damme? No, that would be cooler. I think Orlando Jones was in it. Mine's pretty cool. Go. Billy Madison. Uh, right, that's okay, fucking cool right, as yeah. hell. I had that on VHS. First one bought for me, Star Wars Episode One. Hell wow. yeah! Mm-hmm. First one I purchased, Billy Madison. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I can tell you, probably some horror movie. Probably. Yeah. That's because cool. you're cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. What was your first CD? Oh, CD. I would buy. You know the catalogs you get. Oh yeah. I would yeah. order CDs. I didn't have a CD player, but I would just order them, and one day I'll get a CD. And it was, it was Morbid Angel Domination. That was my first. <laughs> That's yeah. fucking cool. Yeah. That's dope. Mine, I'm uh, like, one day is going to be awesome. Yeah. Mine, mine was cooler. Awesome. It was a uh, Tub Thumper by Chumbawamba. That's fucking nice. great. Anarchy. Hells yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were like Scottish? English. Irish? English. English. They were basically like the like Green Day was by us being like, hey, George W., quit it. But like they were on the other side just be like, fuck war. Uh, war in Iraq. That's not an English accent. That's. Uh, we did enough in the other episode. <laughs> yeah. By the way, big apology for... <laughs> so, by the way, Lipson, which we use, thank you, don't cancel us, uh, turns out we have a lot of English listeners. Do we? And a lot of Australian, New Zealand. Great. So, all the Jesus bad Christ. accents we've done, <laughs> pretty much, the next step is like, I think it goes like, America, England, Zimbabwe. Canada, Australia, <laughs> like all the places that we've done shitty accents for, we yes. apologize. Look, when so, we did those, it's yeah. I hope it's clear we're making fun of ourselves because we're idiots, <laughs> and also American. your countries are better than ours. Yeah, have anybody done a Canadian accent? Well, I don't really know what that would be a boot. <laughs> oh. It's not even a boot. It's like about yeah, which like, is almost like, like South a, Jersey. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say it's almost like a Philly accent. Yeah. yeah. You just be like, oh, we're going to make fun of you. We'll say, uh, uh, talk about your good health care with a bad accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking dummies. Yeah, but anyway. fuck Toronto. <laughs> There's been an episode where I was like, fuck you, Toronto. Fuck everyone in I mean, Toronto. The home of the Toronto Raptors? Yeah, fuck them. What wow. do you do in Toronto? Get insulin for a tenth of the price? <laughs> God. <laughs> well, Antibiotics no, are free. <laughs> no, it's about Jeez. how they cheered for somebody's knee exploding. 
They're just the when it comes reference? to the sports, yeah. Okay. When it comes to sports, they're shitty. When it comes to sports, everyone's a fucking monster. Yeah. No, just when you're in Boston or Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or Philly. Yeah, it like this. I don't know. Yeah, uh, those everybody's are a spots. monster, but you're super monsters. Okay, right. Yeah, Fuck yeah. the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's actually get to this plot. Uh, wow. okay. So so far yeah. we've so, learned about damn. babysitting. Yeah. Does it yeah. say the minutes we're at yet? It never does. That's fine. I would say we're half an hour. Okay. Could someone just blow through the plot real fast? I already did it. Yeah, but that's <laughs> that's like you went through like. You zoomed out so far. I did. I went that very was like macro. Whole book. We need to take a little, like, yeah. Okay. We so, need to zoom in, like, let's say it's Microsoft Word. We need to be like 120. All right. 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 We can't be at, like, you know. You're a very good clippy right now. Hey. Uh-huh. Seems like you fucking hate this book. <laughs> <laughs> very, yeah. Very of the time, too. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, well, yeah. So um, Evan has been saddled with the responsibility of taking care of Kermit. Kermit's a little shit. We should also say that Andy, Evan's non-girlfriend girlfriend, mm-hmm. is back in this book, and they're palling around. She's makes just no sort sense. of there. Yeah, it makes no sense. Because um, in book book number one, he meets Andy because she lives near his yes. aunt, who's a witch. His mm-hmm. great aunt, who's a yeah. witch. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he moves to Atlanta. And she's like, her parents are away, so she's just going to school in Atlanta for a little bit. Um, apparently, she just stayed there for no reason. And they're like, no, she right. lives here now. Yeah. Who gives a shit? It's goosebumps, it but matter. still, whatever. And, yeah. And in the la- the other two books, was her clothing <clears throat> described yes. like it is? Same way. Why is that? I don't know. She's uh, got a something going on with her. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. She grew up to date uh, Avicii before he died. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Luigi? <laughs> yeah. Guigi. Lasagna. Died in his mansion. <laughs> is that what Luigi says? Yeah, it was my Luigi lasagna? impression. Impression number three. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of impressions. By the way, I love Nintendo. Play the new Luigi's Mansion just for the beginning videos. The queenie. No, for like how how Mario and Luigi talk to each other. Because they have like, because you know in the yeah. games they'll be like, oh, like stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. But they talk to each other. They're like, a bit of yeah. and then Mario will be like, oh no, like <laughs> it's, just, it's the best. I wish my Italian relatives would just walk up and be like, bada bada, what we we Like getting some bread. It's clear no matter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What does Nintendo have against like words? Did you characters speak? Did you realize in that beginning of the game you like? ghost takeover and you have to go to everyone's hotel rooms mm. princess peach's hotel room is like immaculate there's all these jewelry and nice stuff mario's is like trash yes. and there's a hundred pizza boxes like open like he had like a fucking pizza orgy so mario's either a stoner or like a raging party dude yeah yeah, yeah. he's like uh shout out our one of our friends and listeners dave Mombert. Mm. it's like uh, his room yeah he, no. there was a point where he had a uh side table next to his bed that was just pizza boxes wow because he ate dave or mario (laughs) dave (laughs) okay because he literally would have a pizza are you describing your your life or i do have a pizza box over there (laughs) prove it i almost when i came in i almost just out of instinct almost checked it and if there was an old slice i would (laughs) have ate it and i'm like I can't be gross. My first time here, I can't be that gross. I am also like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. That. There's like three slices in there right now. Oh, and I, how I see on it, that slice? <laughs> how I see it, <laughs> it could still go in the fridge and be good. Yeah, it's good. It's from last night. It was from late last night. So, uh, anyway. so, so Andy day glow clothes. Yeah, Kermit's yeah. a little shit. Puts Andy through his paces. Basically, Kermit does a bunch of shit that gets um, Evan uh, in trouble. So it starts with uh, Conan, whose house. Andy and Evan broke into in the last book. Mm-hmm. Didn't mention that his like cousin lives next door. Uh, Conan doesn't like that Evan is looking at his yard. Right. Um, Kermit comes out and insults him. Of course, Conan just beats the living shit out of Evan. Mm-hmm. And he won't beat the shit out of a girl. He just uh, lifts Andy into a tree. That's right. Yeah. Because he's so tall. But with a stick. Like, it, it specifically says in the book, he used a stick to put her in the tree. Really? Yeah. So that, so either he, he sh- like, speared her and put her in a tree or mm-hmm. somewhat. Because I guess he wouldn't didn't want to touch her. It's weird. It is very It's like weird. getting a, a shirt off the top rack at a store. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just a, a detail <laughs> in the book. I'm like, why is it even in there? I'm yeah. Like, weird. Arl Stein, just, he's one of those, like, he can't make contact with anybody. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Howie Mendo. Yeah. Like Mike Pence. 
can't be in a room with a woman that's not his wife. Oh, right. Right. Maybe it's ultra conservative. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Conan is actually. Mm-hmm. He's actually named after, believe it or not, Conan the Barbarian. Because he was like a bully. Maybe Imagine that. Like a tough guy, like a oh, Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. Think Hercules. TV's Hercules. Kevin Sorbo. But think a little rougher. Mm. Um, so let's keep moving on this plot. Cause we're, <laughs> we go, so, so Kevin beats the shit. A uh, Conan. I said Kevin. Uh, he discusses it all with Andy at lunch. And uh, he thinks Kermit did it all on purpose. Uh, and he goes to help Evan the next day. He's like, let me just get this shit straightened out. Kermit surprises them when they arrive and uh, pours shrink potion on Andy's bug bite. And it actually makes the bug bite disappear. And or meth. So meth, as we all know, fixes bug bites. We've mm-hmm. all watched Breaking Bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The special episode, Bug Bites. Yes. Which we've seen season three, episode four, <clears throat> yeah. Bug Bites. Mm-hmm. It's when uh, Jesse says... Bug bites, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I will say uh, the lunch. The they were discussing it over lunch, and he was eating a tuna fish sandwich. And I was going to make a too much tuna joke, but I realized it's stupid. I'm so, glad you didn't make it. So instead, uh, when I was young and I had a babysitter myself, my babysitter told me that um, the black pieces in tuna fish were dolphins, and it made me really sad and grossed me out really bad. And Yikes! Turned me off the tuna fish. Yeah. Do you eat tuna now? No. I don't either. Long I don't like tuna. Effects. I don't like fish, so. Yeah. I'll eat a tuna, like a tuna steak, but like wow. tuna fish in the can? No. Yeah, well, yeah that's understandable. What do you do with tuna steak? Is there little black pieces on it? Because that's dolphins. Not really. Yeah. Oh, is it? Fact. When I, when I was young, this was actually in elementary school. It was like, I don't know if it was like a library class or like the study hall or some shit, but there was a, or maybe it was like after school program, but we were in the library and this girl, woman, who was like our, you know, supervising us at that time said, uh, you should always, and this is bad also because I'm obsessive compulsive. So it, it just exacerbated that. She said, you should always wash the tops of cans because, or like rinse them before you drink out of them. Cause a, a girl, uh, a local girl, like sipped out of a can without, uh, rinsing it and she died. Like a urban myth type thing. Urban well, legend, yeah, yeah, it's got to be. But she just well, told it to us like as a scare fact. tactic. Like a yeah. Yeah. every every children. time I've had a beer out of a can at your house, you rinse the top for me. I do it. Oh wow! Always. So it's to this day. It's stuck with yeah. me. Oh. I might have done it anyway because I am genuinely obsessive compulsive. Like, but it didn't help. Not <laughs> saying that in like because people always think people say that a lot of the time when they're like, oh, I'm obsessive compulsive because I like to check my if my car is locked i do it twice yeah but yeah. like no yeah. Well, if you are let me come over because i'm the human i'm the the human uh, immersion therapy right I'll, exposure response yeah yeah I'll, like, i've done exposure response i like eat crumbs over your bed and stuff <laughs> <laughs> that's more like <laughs> annoying imagine like he's just naked in your bed doing like jumps <laughs> just like fuck my wife does the crumb thing it's fine <laughs> producer chib crumb lord um so after that, he puts some like shrink shit on like Andy's shirt and shrinks it out of existence. It just disappears forever. Then he's like, I'm mixing up a potion because my dog, whose name is Dog, dog Face. Face. Great name yeah. for a dog. Great. Excellent. Has hiccups. And he's like, I'm in charge of you. You will not feed one of your potions that shrunk my shirt out of existence to your dog. Uh, he does anyway. The dog goes nuts. It breaks stuff and he blames it on Evan and his mom gets mad. So the third part is um, he gave the dog uh, fen-slic- fencyclidine. He gave the dog PCP, actually. Oh, really? Because yeah. it's, it's, it's white powder, granules, or crystals. And there's a silvery crystal in his speaker and the dog eats it and goes apeshit crazy and tears up the apartment. So, so yeah, he gives his yeah. dog PCP. Yeah. Kermit's a fucking villain. I knew it. Yeah. Well, we all knew that from the the part where he takes bath salts and that's yeah. right bites Conan's face off. Yep. Oh, <clears throat> oh, yeah. like the zombie guy. Like the zombie guy. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah. So he gets in trouble and he's like, ah, the mom who sucks. His aunt sucks. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is fair because you're like, well, how are you related to this? But we forget because Evan isn't as shitty as he normally is in this book. Yeah, he's like fine. He's mm-hmm. like you know he's being. Physically bullied by Conan, and then emotionally manipulated and set up by Kermit. 
Yeah, but Kermit and like two, it must suck so hard to get manipulated by Kermit because he's putting off such a strong Minkus energy. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He's Minkusing so hard. Yep. I was also picturing Fuller from Home Alone. So funny because uh, we were on our Fuller. Uh, I don't know. We were like our, like our. What do you even say? We were three episodes straight. Fuller of cast. Just Fuller cast. That's what we call it. Fuller <laughs> right. cast. Uh, where we discussed Fuller from Home Alone three mm-hmm. times in a row. Every time we got <laughs> uh, coughing. Uh, back to Fuller. <coughs> Sorry. Is Under the weather. Us. Yeah, it is. It truly is. Well, Chainsaw's here to help us out. Anyway, uh, yeah, so he's got his Minkus energy. Um, the next day, Kermit and Andy come back, and uh, they swear revenge. But Kermit's really nice because he does Andy's homework for her, math homework, and then says, you know what, let's go outside and play some Frisbee. But before they do that, in my notes, they drink some orange soda. They do? Which... Probably as Molly or some kind of <laughs> some kind of uh, weed type substance in it because I they wrote that they take edibles. Yeah, exactly. So this is the third or fourth instance with this kid has done some kind of chemical, some kind of he made some kind of drug. Yeah. So yeah. Let me tell you, Kermit just like went nuts later because he he made a fortune at the electric zoo. Oh yeah yeah he had a Kerm fit. <laughs> <laughs> that's true hell yeah so they go outside to play frisbee but they can't do it well because they're laughing so hard and can't stop yeah that's right i forgot about the uncontrollable after yeah so yeah <laughs> I, mean, therefore, like, I mean like seriously like yeah molly there's no explanation for it right and i fucked up before this is the time so conan beats the shit out of uh evan before this is the second time he beats the shit out of him and this is when he puts andy in the tree okay with the stick with the stick. Mm-hmm. So rack. they're talking back and forth being like, should we monster blood this motherfucker? At this point, they're like, I think it's about time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's pop this shit open. Yeah. So the plan is like Kermit's going to make a concoction and they're going to put some monster blood in there and it's going to grow and he's going to look like a fucking fool. Yeah. The problem is he's making his concoction. It's like fucking cake batter or something. Nobody yeah. cares. <laughs> and uh, they slip a little monster blood in there. <clears throat> Evan's like, oh, Kermit, look at my penis. And <laughs> Kermit's like, what? And Andy <laughs> slips in some monster blood. Yeah, so a little bit of monster blood into the cake batter, and the bowl explodes. And uh, <laughs> bowl? Like the, the, bowl, the, mixing, the mixing bowl. bowl. The, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Kermit's, yeah, Kermit's drug paraphernalia explodes. <laughs> Glass kills all of them instantly. He's like, that one was shaped like a wizard. I spent $80 on that. <laughs> yeah. That's my Gandalf pipe, dude. That's from the time I went to the village. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Evan accidentally, he had like his mouth open the whole time or something. So he so <laughs> was he, chewing uh talk chocolate oh, that's that's choked right. on yeah. it he can't like not eat a candy bar for two seconds so <laughs> the middle of a crisis just like, ah. yeah yeah well he's trying to like make kermit jealous because he's eating a candy bar i <laughs> what do you say you know yeah so uh yeah he gets some monster blood in his mouth and he starts to grow it's I don't, yeah so he's like too big they're in the basement it's, it's he's too big for the basement it's like two chapters of him trying to get out of the basement. He Two chains. <laughs> <laughs> he breaks the stairs and the wall. Gets I love, outside. I love the paradigm we have where I say something and you're like, is it this? <laughs> <laughs> and like, like, yeah. I don't like know that. what paradigm means. That sounds real funny. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say two something. Is it two chains? <laughs> two chains. I love it. And uh, yeah, so so he does get out of the basement, and he goes outside and like runs to the fucking park or something like that. And this is where oh, you know what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is on the cover too. Um, <laughs> but at first, he decides Evan knows this is bad, right? But first, he sees an opportunity because Conan is in his yard like bullying some random fucking kids. So he's yeah. like, this is my time to shine. Mm-hmm. So he goes over to Conan. He's like, hey, Conan, you want to fucking eat my ass, you piece of shit? <laughs> and uh, Conan's like, no, you're too big. <laughs> and uh, so 
this is I really found this fun. That, yeah, because he uses Conan as like a butt tampon and just <laughs> yeah. shoves him up there. Super salad. I, yeah, <laughs> I I love how tactful it is that he doesn't like kick his ass. He just like or like punt him over you know the neighborhood or something. Which would have been funny. Yeah, which would have been like actually humorous or like, yes, you know. But also rockets been murder. blasting off yeah. again. He like punts him into space. Did and you hear like, my a little boy landed and yeah. exploded <laughs> in the middle of town? Did you hear my Goldman impression before? I sure did. Okay, here. Do you I have another one? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's really good. So anyway, <laughs> you want to hear my Mr. Mime impression? Let me see that pussy. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't say pussy on this podcast. We say puss. Yeah. Oh, let me see that puss. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Okay. More vulgar. Yeah. Hey, by the way. No! <laughs> oh, shit, mark that down. Uh, so what what Evan does is he picks up Conan and just places him in a tree. Because Conan doesn't like heights. Yeah, he says that. He's just like, you're so tall. Hopefully you won't lift me because I'm afraid of heights. And yeah. he's just like, whoa, that gives me an idea. Yeah. Let me lift you. But then he goes like running through the park. Or he goes for like his evening jog. And he's so big that uh actually how big is he he's like <laughs> nine feet tall at this point he says so i'm gonna interrupt you for a second so he's about nine feet tall so yeah. he's about as tall as like cream dikende matumbo yes he's not like a monstrous size he's well, like a size later, of, a, of a big dude later he becomes two stories tall okay okay yeah. because i i thought it, it, he, was, he was nine <laughs> feet tall in the basement okay and then was growing but when he's outside he's two chains tall Right, um, yeah. and that's why he's able to reach over a fence and lift Conan because Conan what, was a big child, but he was able to hold him like a baby. But what's horrifying about that? Like, what's what's terrifying about like a nine foot tall? Because he, uh, he like was it like a nine foot tall? What like fifth grader? Right. Is yeah, that yeah. kind of what he he's is? Like 12, 13. Yeah. Right. So like, is that horrifying? Like, would you be freaked out if you saw that nine feet tall? Yeah. I'd be freaked out. Be freaked I wouldn't out, be like, I would nine, call the police. Nine feet tall is like, weird. Nah, I'll go to Walmart. But when he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would see this at Walmart. It tracks. But when his head is like like three feet tall, like vertically three right, feet, right. like and he's massive. Yeah. He grows rapidly too. So like he's getting bigger as he goes. And yeah, he's a child, but he's very big. I think that's a little Right, disturbing. but he's not like he's not causing chaos and destruction. Well, like, no. like 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 that's the, the problem that I have with this is like if he was like rampaging, I'd be like, Oh my god, this kid's like a giant and he's rampaging flipping over cars right, and like right. stomping on people, but he's just like yeah, he's just chilling out. Well, I think who calls the authorities on him is Conan, no? That's true. Yeah. Leave it so to the far? cops to fuck uh, everything no, up. No, I think he gets, uh, presumably he gets out of the tree. Mm. And uh, So, fucked up thing that happens at this point, too, is that he's walking around and he, like, accidentally steps on a car and it, like, explodes. And then also he steps on a skateboard. That's but right. there's a point where Kermit is just, like, hears them shatter something. He's like, what did you just step on? And he's like, you just crushed Andy. She's dead. And then he's so like, he's just like kidding, asshole. it's a skateboard. He's, like, he's a dick. Yeah, yeah he's, he's like yeah. Minkus, but like Hitler Minkus. I hate him. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, the fire department comes, and they're like setting up their hoses. This is their solution, is they're going to like water him. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is weird. And the cops show up as well. And for a while, he just like hides. But also, like, he gets to enjoy being tall. Because yeah. he like like kids are like our kites in a tree and he's like well this is great for me now yeah, yeah. you got to do it in the voice though doing a giant fifth grader voice yeah well this is great for me now <laughs> and then uh, they're like hey you Can always you put reverb on that no, you, you always sucked at playing softball and he's like well get ready and he like hits a home run into space but like it would be way harder because mm-hmm. of fo- the football the baseball is like. Like the bat's like the size of a toothpick, it says. That's what it, yeah. So mm-hmm. why don't you just swat it with his hand and just. Right. Yeah, kick it or something. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, because he always gets picked last. So what I would have done is just been like, we always pick you last. You're on my team. You're on my Thrash team. Smash the kid. And then all he does is like pick up the kid and just throw him. Yeah. Like yeah. start like smashing the baseball teams or something, you know? Yeah. Just kill kids. Yeah. Just murder. Knock the fence over on them. Yeah. 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 So that murder. That's scary. So, <laughs> to be clear, murder. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna or vote. Mayhem, I'm gonna mayhem. vote for murder. Yeah. So 
the cops come and they decide to kill him because they're cops <laughs> and they don't understand him. So they're like, "Oh my god, a little boy, shoot him." Like, yeah. That's the biggest little boy I've ever seen. Let's shoot him. It's a threat. But they're like, first, we need to get him real wet. It's so that right. way our like they'll soften him up with the water so that the bullets <laughs> go right in. <laughs> or slow him down. Like, yeah. yeah. So they, they shoot him with water, but he like jumps over them and goes high and hides in like a lumber yard. Like a <laughs> Yeah. They're like someone's building a house. I'll hide behind their wood. Yeah. Meanwhile he gets a fucking great idea. Or no, yeah. Yeah. His idea well, first it's like it's hopeless, he's caught, he's gonna like kill himself. But he has Whoa. he has an idea, which is uh, Kermit's a little wizard, so Kermit could like make him a concoction. Wizard? You mean? <laughs> oh, we have the oh. other one now. Wow, I was which, going way, more with like uh, dealer, but oh dealer, or like a uh, cook, yeah. the cook, the, the cook, cook, sure. Yeah. Uh, Captain Cook. That's a Breaking Bad reference. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. just to bring it back. Yeah, or, or Peter Pan Bitch. peanut butter. <laughs> That's my Jesse Pinkman. It's my best Pokemon impression. Can you put yeah. reverb on that too? I will. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pika bitch. <laughs> Jiggly bitch. <laughs> All right. So. Jiggly puff. Jiggly puff oh, is no. good. <laughs> you got to edit all this. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. So uh, he makes a couple different potions. I don't even know what to call them. Drugs. So he <laughs> makes a bunch of drugs. First one turns them blue. So. He thinks he's blue. He just gave him acid. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Then he's like, I can fix this. He gives him something and he's covered in feathers. Yeah. That so, one's real magic. <laughs> yeah. Or or um, or uh, like mezcal or something like that. Or, oh, yeah. 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 You know, another hallucinogen. It's like DMT. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, everything Dose is them. different shapes. We're like, all right. This. this is a beaker of ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> what do your parents do? <laughs> Where do you get all this shit? Yeah, what if you? He's just like, hey, just Windex and other shit. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> my parents had a lot of Claritin. <laughs> yeah, um, and then the the cops show up at his house, and they're like, "Finally, I get to shoot something. I've been in this job for three days, and yeah. I haven't gotten to shoot something innocent." Top so it's true. Mm-hmm. And uh, they get right to the back, and thank God, third potion's the charm. Mm-hmm. Makes him unblue. Third drug. Yeah. His feathers fall out. Stuffs him into a nice pillow. Yeah. I don't want to nitpick. You know me. I don't nitpick. But uh, it doesn't say that he, the feathers fall out and he turns on blue and all that shit. He just becomes smaller. Yeah. So they'd so be like, like small blue bird. Presumably, yeah. yes, a small blue bird. Hello, blue bird child. <laughs> <laughs> Squawk, how are you? Yeah. And while he was actually, the cops were looking for him, it says that he was counting to 10 and then he counted to 10 again and then was about to count to 10 a third time. So this kid had nothing else to think about the entire time cops are looking for him. Yeah. Except to count to ten. Yeah. Not not get introspective. What am I gonna do? No, I'm gigantic. Mm-hmm. He just loves counting. Yeah. Only to ten though. Well, that's, that's all he can handle. That's all he learned. He had to repeat it like three times. Yeah, yeah. If you learned anything, his he was more focused on how fat his teacher was than actually learning in the previous book. That's right, yeah. So want just wandered and Yeah. Yeah. He was just like, I don't know. He figured that his uh, teacher's waist size was bigger than any number he could ever count to beyond 10, so mm-hmm. he gave up. That's right. Uh, so they show up, and they're like, hey, you see a giant child that looks like you? And he's like, no. And the cops leave. Yeah. Because Arlstein thinks cops are dumb. Any cops listen to this? Arlstein thinks you're dumb. Wow. That's right. Topical. I know you're grabbing for your uh, sweet batons that extend. Mm-hmm. You're going to lightsaber them? Don't say we told you to do it. Yeah. I'm not going to jail. You're the cop. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, you cop. Hey, cop. Don't shoot us. Please don't shoot me. That was like a play. That was like a... <laughs> was like a yeah. Wow. Soliloquy. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, uh, and then he goes to bed at night and has a dream about something dumb. And uh, he, he wakes up, and he's the size of a Mighty Max. And yeah, his, yeah, yeah. Nice. And, and Trigger picks him up in his mouth and brings him to his parents. And they're like, hey, what do you got there, Trigger? Turns out it's their son. And uh, he go, Evan goes, uh, Houston, we have a problem. Does he actually say that in the nah, end? No, he says, I think we have a little problem. 
Oh. A little problem. Yeah. Get it? Wah, wah, He's like, get wah. it? Because I'm yeah. tiny? And then the parents are like, you fought a fucking hamster that was a monster at your school. Fought or just tussled with? Did you like fight it or did you like tussle with the hamster? I see it like rolled around. <laughs> How like, you know, it's like a monster, but they like grapple. Yeah. And they're like, Wah! And they just do the whole thing. Yeah. So, the weird hamster tail rubbing against them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're doing a fingering motion right now. <laughs> <laughs> For the people at home, he's doing a fingering motion. <laughs> All right. That's our friggin' book. It's 10 o'clock, way past my bedtime. Let's get to the bad and the good. Uh, Lou, you're our guest. Oh. What, what did you... Let's start on a positive note. What did you like about this book? So the positive note was when um, they were in the lunchroom again that... Uh, Andy had egg salad on her face. I thought that was hysterical. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually made me laugh. Um, That's good. And uh, the amount of the description of monster blood throughout the book was great. A lot of plopping, <laughs> sucking, gurgling, yes. glooping, like a uh, lot of very, very, very descriptive on the, yeah, the actual yeah. monster blood. So Yeah, that's been a theme. That's been the highlight. So like we said in our original episode, which, by the way, you can go back and listen to Monster Blood 1 and 2. Um we said it's kind of like Arl Stein had this whole list of notes where he's just like, I got these great, gross vagina descriptions, vagina but nowhere to put them. Nowhere to put them. And then they're like, could you write a children's book? And he's like, huh. Mm. Yeah. And it's like they're shuffling through his desk like, oh, there's those notes. <laughs> well, the first one, he's just like, I pushed my fingers deep inside and it made it, it engulfed me and it made a sick sucking noise. It wow. was... D- moist and Andy was like, "That's all you got." It was yeah. cold at first, then became warm. Yeah, it's and, crazy. Yeah. The, the older ones are way more sexual, and it sounds like we're gross, and we are, and we say problematic, fucked up, dumb things. But like, we're also, just quoting in the original. Yeah, ones. It basically, we're just quoting like, it. Evan gives himself a UTI. Yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> Evan shoves his whole fist deep into his monster blood. Yeah, he varts violently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so that's that's kind of really it. Those are yeah. that's it for the good. Yeah, Dave. Um, I said that I also like the good description of the monster blood. Just kind of saying like the monster blood bounced and hiccuped. It made more disgusting sucking sounds as it bounced. It picked up sticks and gravel from the driveway, like Katamari Damasi. They stuck to its side for a moment before being sucked into the center of the giant wet ball. Also, he used some onomatopoeia that I loved, mm. which was thwok. Ah, uh, yes. Five C's in thwok. Nice. Um, I loved that uh, he turned in time to see the seething goo roll over him. Seething goo rules uh, just like that was during the explosion, like the pulling him. Um, I thought it was hilarious that... Uh, it was Conan sure that shrunk. So I thought this was awesome that it was like, now Conan stood in front of them, bare-chested. A heavy silence fell over the backyard. All three of them stared at Conan's broad, bare chest for a few moments. Conan broke the silence. That was my best muscle shirt, he told Evan <laughs> through his right. gritted teeth. And uh, that description... And he says, uh-oh, Evan <laughs> muttered. <laughs> and that description of the kid, is this kid like a 19-year-old, like... Still in high school, I know. like like living it's around so town, good. bully. Like that's the vibe you get. He gets the shit kicked out of him, and he says, "I'm getting used to looking in the mirror and seeing a pile of coleslaw where my head used to Got be." Got that in my notes too. Yeah, it was an excellent. Good. It was a very fun description. Yeah, that was fun. I like this too because Arl Stein doesn't give a shit about continuity or anything, or like it doesn't matter if it makes sense. But at one point, he says, "The monster blood splashed on your clothes too. That was lucky. They're growing with you." Just because he's like, oh, I don't want anyone to think he grows big and he's got a big old teen dick and he's not right. covered. Because like 20 years in the future, you guys are doing a podcast would pick up on that immediately. And yes, that's right. That's something we wouldn't have even said. We wouldn't be like, is his clothes going to grow? But like, <laughs> Arl Stein's just like, no. Nah. <laughs> don't talk about his dick. I'm upset. <laughs> no dicks. It's no not 2020. No not 2020. Um... Is that that's all the good? That's all my good. Good, I have one thing. <laughs> On page 70, you, you're a giant, Kermit declared. He stepped forward and grabbed onto Evan's knee. Me too, okay? Okay, Evan, make me a giant too, he begged. 
Give me a break, Evan muttered. He picked up Kermit easily and set him down on top of the lab table. I thought he picked up Kermit easily. It was very <laughs> funny. <laughs> that is not very a good. problem. I got this. Because he just, this is when he like first becomes a big guy. Easily done. Right? Yeah. Take care of Kermit. He's a little minkus. Yeah. I love yeah. it. By the way, Boy Meets World. Google Boy Meets World minkus. Mm-hmm. I feel like we've used minkus energy before. Yeah. But we never put That's the a reference. good in. word to say, too. Minkus. It is. Minkusing. Yeah. It reminds me of stinkus. <laughs> it's just a word you just made up. Yeah. <laughs> reminds me of this word. I saw I'm it happen up. in real time. It was amazing. Yeah. It's real you cool. saw, like, the Mac OS pinwheel. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, stinkus. All right, Lou. So what fucking sucked? Um, just to, uh, I mean, the, the, the Kermit kid sucked mm-hmm. uh, really bad. The, the entire book, I was like, this. I don't know what this character's motivation for anything is, or why this happens, or it's fair. You know, he just is he just causing mayhem? Is he just supposed to be a bratty kid? Mm-hmm. You know, and you're supposed to be like, oh, this kid's an, an irritating kid. Yeah, he like uses Mama's boy to yeah further engulf himself in science. Like, why? Yeah, yeah. So I don't even understand like where what his character is supposed to be, and um, just to not understanding the understanding what monster blood actually is like what, yeah. what the right like it is it it makes no sense is it a uh, is it a food item is it a chemical is it really monster blood is it like because I, I know the first one it was like a the witch is it like a witch concoction it like what is it exactly so it's like they bought a normal toy so it could be like Nickelodeon Gak right and then she curses it. Okay. And it becomes something that makes stuff grow. Uh, then, in the next book, they just have some, and it's still he just retcons the whole witch curse. Yeah, it's, it's like oh, okay, okay. He retcons it, and it's like it just makes stuff grow. That's just what it is. So he retcons that. Is it supposed to be a toy though? It is because got, in this yeah. one it comes from Germany or something like that, or it came from Germany. Yeah, they found a, so the original can they like buried in the fucking amazon or something yeah and then so she like the the witch gets sucked into it and it disappears then for the second one they're like we still had a little bit and it worked but then it expired at the exact second yeah that they were having a shrunk, fight right so yeah. it was gone but then like andy's family was in germany and sent her monster blood and they were like "Uh oh and then like something crazy is that like evan was gifted Cuddles, the monster from the previous one, but he probably just decided not to feed it because he fucking hated that thing in the other <laughs> yeah. book. He like wished it dead, and they were like, "Here's your gift," and he was like, "Okay, I'm gonna fucking kill it," and it was eating the monster blood, and apparently they just still had it. So it's like originally it was a witch curse. Now it's just like a thing you can just go to any toy store in any country. So that, and buy that's and another thing. Evil <clears throat> is it? Is it a living thing? They never say. So, like, when you ingest it, are you ingest actually living? Like, is it an amoeba? Is it's, it like like the blob? It seems to be like, sentient in some way. Like, it can recognize you and come after you. Because in the second one, it's like eating kids, and it's like the the yeah. actual monster is monster blood. And then to this one, he he the giant kid Andy is is the uh, not Andy um Evan is the monster so to speak in this book he he is in this book yeah so the, the monster was almost like a secondary thing it is yeah and well in the first one at the end of the book the the monster blood is a blob that comes to consume kids and yeah. goes after his grandma That's the first or like second that. one the first one okay the second one it doesn't really do that it's just it gets into the hamster it makes a hamster big you know, that's yeah. that's he's the villain and same thing here right it's it's evan so this is why i didn't particularly think this was a good book is because now we're obviously this is a phone in where RL could have phoned in other books, but, and some of them we recognize as that, but some of them are done better. At least he just did two time travel books in a row. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But those I could argue have more redeeming qualities than this, which is the same. This is the same exact book as monster blood Two. It's just Evan's big instead of the hamster and Evan is less shitty. Yeah. yeah, and then by the third book, like you kind of almost missed an opportunity. I just thought about this now: is you missed an opportunity to like tell an origin story of where Monster Blood came no. from, or, yeah. or or Monster Blood be the center, mm-hmm. the center right thing, you know? Because I mean, there, there's a little bit of exposition in the book where like it's a little. I guess it's a little scarier for a kid than all of a sudden you're gigantic, yeah, and you're like, oh my god, I'm a monster, and and I don't know if it's like a metaphor for puberty or whatever, because now. 
You're giving him a lot of credit, but I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing is like, yeah. am I overthinking it too much? Because because my adult brain and you know reading things and watching movies and, and stories and stuff, it would make more sense. It was like these like five canisters of monster blood was made in a lab or came from outer space and was and yeah. we, we found them and oh crap, there's one left or. You know, but again, giving too much, like, mm-hmm. overthinking of something that's made for, like, what age group reads this? Yeah, it's like... He's probably like, let's just make the kid grow. Yeah. I think these books are, like, that's 5 it. to 13, probably. Because, yeah. yeah. like, by, at that age, when these came out, I was already reading, like, Stephen King books and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, like, to go back to... These are almost, like, remedial in a way, and I'm like... Yeah. And I always thought, since I actually listened to this podcast, I thought these were like horror books, like real horror yeah. books. So being a child, most people were warded off by them just because of the covers. Kids were like afraid of them. Yeah, and, and there was like a whole controversy I was yeah. reading about too, where they were trying to get a band and everything. I'm like, right. how? They're not even like... Because they're so inoffensive, yeah. Um, book it, judged by the cover. It's, you know, it's interesting. Tim Jacobus. Well, so the original book, the first one, like if people are like, well, let me just read the first one. The first one's like kids heads hitting like gravestones and like their skull smashing open and shit like yes, yeah, but there are some gruesome. brutal things but we've i think that controversy may have hit arl stein at this point because he's been real soft for a while in these books yeah it's it's like, always are we in the stretch right now of like they're kind of just like really safe like really simple formulaic i would say I can't speak to the later books because I don't. I just straight up don't remember. I will say I read Horror at Camp Jelly Jam last summer, which is uh, in like three or four books from now, mm-hmm. and it was bad. Um, bad in the aspect of like, the quality like, of writing was yeah. poor. Um, but I will say also that uh, spoiler alert: the the monster in that book is more gruesome than there's actually like a villain there's something to dread well they say that's one of the few books where kids die and it's like they say no kids die in these books but that's one where they're like no uh, kids are obviously dying but the last brutal book we actually got was probably uh piano lessons can be murder yeah lesson yeah with that ghost there's a ghost who just like her face melts off in this kid's like living room it's dope Yeah. yeah it's it is interesting though to have a guest on and i think for future guests, we'll run into this as well. Like uh, the only joy, the reason I we both enjoy these is is the nostalgic link. That's, yeah, that's yeah. it. Like, and I don't want to shit on that. I don't no. want to make it seem like I'm like ripping it apart. No, and stuff. we do it all just... the time. That's that's the, <laughs> that's the interesting thing is <laughs> yeah. if you approach this without the nostalgia, uh, there's really not much for you here. Yeah, there's like minimal like when these books came out. There's like. I do remember them being in those little scholastic paper, scholastic papers you read and yeah. order them and stuff. And I remember them being around. And I even read the first like maybe five or six of them because I was like, oh, here's this really cool new horror series. They look really cool. They're quick, easy to read. Yeah. But again, like I said, I was reading Stephen King and more advanced stuff at the time. Yeah. So I was like, ah, I stopped. I dropped off after a couple books in. Right. But I remember people that were younger than me were like all about these books. And then going back as an adult, I'm like, ah, oh, what's going on here? Like, yeah. almost like missed opportunities to tell like really, really cool stories. Well, I feel like too, we can give you a few. Like, if we, I feel like by the end of this series, we may be able to give people a solid ten. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. If I we're being hear, generous, yeah. If we're being generous, I feel like eight. Yeah, yeah. A solid eight, a, a real solid five. Yeah. I feel like right now we could give people like a five. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious, like five books I'm that curious are to hear. To read. Yeah, I'm curious to hear what at the end of this whole project, what what the the uh, you know what you think of all the books and all together in the in the style, and you can see where okay the books drop off here and pick up here, or yeah. they never do pick up or anything. But even in this book specifically, um, it's like, well, who again? Who's the monster? And and did Evan grow big? And Evan's the monster, and in the town, like the firefighters are shooting with water, and the cops are going to shoot him and stuff like that. And like, but but he didn't do anything to. Like I said, he didn't cause any destruction. He didn't do anything. He didn't accidentally kill somebody. He's just different. Yeah, yeah. So, Which, there's something to unpack there, I think. It, but do you think it's that deep? I don't think it is. Okay. I think if RL were here, first of all, he'd be asleep. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, secondly, he would say, uh, way overthinking it. He would yeah, just say, like, like, hey, you guys are like overanalyzing it. It's just, it's just a kid's book. Famously, like, yeah, I just wanted kids to read. So. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, and that's cool, and it accomplishes that. And yeah, it's impossible to view these now totally objectively. A because of the nostalgia, and B because they're kids' books, and it's hard to like. Of course, they're shitty. We think that because I don't know. When I was a kid, I loved this. 
Yeah. I had less criteria to judge it with, and it was like exciting because it's a series, and you get wrapped up in that. And it probably and jump started you to other stuff. Yeah, exactly. It definitely did. And but, also, like we say, being creative writing majors and like doing a lot of writing in college, like this kind of inspired us to do our own writing. Yeah. At that age, too. definitely. So yeah, but there so are the Boo Dude series of like Goosebumps, like our own uh, yeah. versions of these. Yeah. Really salty, really like sexually explicit but for, but for children in a, in a course, child yeah. way yeah. of course my pee pee hurt <laughs> my pee pee did a, a wet cough <laughs> see what else do you have that sucks is that basically your oh I mean, oh well, who me you no know, your bad stuff oh my you bad stuff your bad. no no that was that was that was pretty much the uh that was like just the trying to figure out what was going on and yeah. who's the Who's the hero? Who's the the antihero? Who's the villain? Who's the adversary? How, how does he overcome? Like you know the normal story arc, yeah. Yeah, hero yeah. journey shit. Like, yeah, that really wasn't present in this. It was just like kind of like a book kind of meanders. Yeah, so. that's a, I wrote and again that not to, I don't want to shit on it, but it's no, no you can and it, and we 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 don't <laughs> <laughs> we don't diarrhea on this whole series because like like we were just saying we could make you a list of of some that are much better caliber yeah. it's it's like any series it's got its ups and downs yeah of course and we also uh meandered for our april fools episode into the belly school kids which was right. a big horror inspired series and yeah, like maybe for a slightly younger crowd for a slightly younger crowd but, but close the writing in that book and what the book's plot was, it's probably worse than any Goosebumps yeah, yeah. book. Really. This is like fucking Far Old below. Man in the Sea, comparatively. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So if these were written now in 2020 and somebody said, I'm going to do... Well, no, if RL? Yeah. No, no, I mean, somebody completely separate. It's like, I'm going to start a horror series. Do you think that they would be more mature or they would still be like super like kitty, like silly? I think they'd be close to this, just more and, referentially yeah, yeah. relevant. We read uh, an almost recent Arl Stein book for Christmas, not this year, last year. And you can see the shift in tone that kind of is, it's a little, not more adult, but more of the times. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of honed his craft more knowing what, kind of like the ages group is looking for, but yeah. also he he does what he does really well. It's like he takes the best of him and just boils it all down to one book. Yeah, so that, was, cool. that was a good yeah. book too. Like, stripped, so, it, like stripped it down to yeah. like Yeah. So I'm excited to read more of hmm. what he has. But I mean we got sixty two books to go through. So we got <laughs> yeah, that's fine. speaking of which I don't even know what hour we're on, on this one. Yeah, you're bad, Dave. Uh at one point he said this is the whole sentence he said, Andy Tisk Tisked. Hmm. God. Hmm. Uh, I also said that he needs to try harder on names because uh, Kermit's name was Kermit after Kermit the Frog. Uh, and dog, dog Face. face. His name was Dog Face. Again, Which, if a there was a name. story, yeah, but if there was a story for anything, it just doesn't make any sense. And then there was a chocolate bar when we said he was, what, what did you say he was doing to like distract them? He was like, Touching oh. his butt or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But originally he was eating a chocolate bar and it was called Choco Lick. Mm. L I K. Makes no sense. Try harder. There was this one sentence. It's not bad. I just read it wrong and that's why it needs to be here. In chapter 13, it said Andy winked at Evan. Her brown eye lit up excitedly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a smile spread across her face. <laughs> Apparently, it said uh, her brown eyes lit up excitedly, okay. but I read it wrong. Oh, my singular. bad. Brown so eye. I'll go back. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was an accident on me. I don't even know why I put that in there. Uh, after he shrinks back, he says, am I a genius or what? Kermit, Kermit demanded, grinning his toothy grin. Or what? Evan joked. The cops were going to shoot guns at him. Yeah, yeah. And he's just like, what a crazy caper that was. Very like, pithy under duress. Yeah. Um, and then I said, we never learn what happens to uh, when Kermit's mom returns to his house that's destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> like literally it's like five days later oh, you mean just, the meth lab that blew up yeah yeah. but like also he grew so big that he crushed the stairs out from the basement yeah and she's just like she fucking sucks she's just a shitty mom and i hate her that's it not your turn uh boy um oh, oh so there's a look theme. At those notes <laughs> look at all the bad I wow have compared to the good. so <clears throat> i uh most of the stuff is a lot of the time throughout this book, RL, this is a third person book. RL writes um, stuff like on page two, it says, what was he going to do about it? 
or um, on page even, so that's the beginning of the book, end of the book, page 120, it says, would Kermit get it right this time? It's always like like asking these questions to the reader, like find out next week on, and it's just like, I, I don't like that. Um, it's like he's asking it because he doesn't know yet. And like the, the, <laughs> the next sentence is he's like, what the find fuck out. am I going to come up with tomorrow? Go like a yeah. hanger or like, like legit, like. It's in the middle of a chapter, so it's not. <laughs> uh, so it's it's insane. Um, yeah, I wrote a human person named Kermit. Um, Conan's hobby is uh, quote bumping kids with his chest. Yes, he says that is a part incredible. There's a ton of fragments. Yeah. Um, the monster blood growing clothing doesn't track. Like when it when the monster blood explodes in the mixing bowl, and gets on Evan's clothing, and Andy says like, "Good thing I got on your clothes because they grew with you. At least that's a silver lining." But they should have everything should have grown. The whole house exactly. should have grown. Right. Well, oh, okay. other thing I wanted to say about that too. I would I was waiting for the plot point where it's just been like, "Wait a second, you ate the dough." The dough grew until it exploded. I was waiting for Evan to grow until it exploded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like a like a round ball. He's just like, what's that? Boom! Or the like, strain on his heart was too much. Yeah. Kermit sat there covered in the skin of his cousin. Oh. Um, on page seventy five, it says, "There's like, you know, it's like Evan grew up to the roof of the house, and the, the roof of the house was nine feet off the ground." And then there was a sentence right after that that said, that meant he was more than nine feet tall. And it was like, yeah, we fucking put that together <laughs> from the previous two sentences. He like really spells it out. And that's when you're reminded like, oh, this is for elementary school kids. Um, Math. Ma- Math. <laughs> um, page 80. I just think the narrative is confused sometimes because Kermit makes a joke on page 80 and it says his idea of a joke and it's real cynical about it but evan's not speaking it's just the the narrative well that's something i wanted to say too uh there are not many third person books after the beginning and they kept the third person point of view for monster blood even though we know it's biased towards evan's point of view so it's like we're getting evan's thoughts but in a third person narrative so yeah um keeping that with this one makes sense because it's carried on throughout the whole trilogy so far, but it it yeah. makes sense, but it's executed poorly there. Yeah, it is. Um, and just the last page, page one twenty six, the first sentence is the first full sentence, quote unquote, is into his parents' room. Period. It's a fragment. I mean, it's like the the <laughs> the best example of a fragment, and this book has a ton of them. Yeah. Um, but. I've just given up on those. It's every yeah, yeah. it's constant. But that was all right. egregious. So we're at hour three, and let's. Yeah, that's right. uh, oh, are you serious? <laughs> no, no, I'm just oh. kidding. Let's joke. So oh. we're gonna do the, how we end every single book. So let's do our top spook and scare, our best dressed character, and our alternate title. So Lou is the guest. Um, I'm gonna do uh, instead of monster blood, I'm gonna put puberty stage three. Oh, Excellent. is this your alternate title? Yeah, so that's the third book. Okay, so let's Puberty start with Stage that. Three. We'll Sorry. start with alternate title. We'll go backwards. Yeah, uh, best dress would probably be um, Andy because she has all like day glow neon yeah, colors. Yeah. And uh, what was the other one? Your top scare. Top scare. Top scare would have been when he almost choked on the candy bar. That was a little, okay. a little frightening. I was like, <laughs> wow. And all the excitement, just the candy bar going down his throat and almost choking on it. Close call. Little, yeah. yeah. As someone who lives alone. I actually think about that after that. What was the sh- 30 rock? Yeah. It talks about like if you just choke when you're by yourself. You're right. Back. Yeah. After scary. a couple of days, your cats eat you. All right. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. It's actually They're hungry. Actually true. Yeah. You know. I've seen it myself. Are you serious? Cats and dogs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's fucked up. Soft tissue. Ears, did, lips, nose, did genitals. We, Lou, we didn't even talk about your. Buttholes even. Your other job. Yeah. You've seen somebody's butthole eaten by a cat? I've seen a, a photo of it, but. Uh, it was one of the other investigators, but I've seen people eaten by all sorts of wildlife. Do my cats look hungry? Um, the little cute one, their bike probably wouldn't do anything, but Chainsaw's, he's licking his lips. That's how I, that's how I <laughs> he's just waiting. It's how I raised time. him. He's hungry for that butthole. <laughs> <laughs> so soft, my, soft uh, issue, man. That my brown top eye. scare, I'm just going to, my top scare, I wrote one word, just cops. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're they're like, the true villains of the book. Like, ah, right. books. Uh, what book? Ah, kids shoot them. Like, yeah, 
that's instantly multiple really, times. Yeah. Um, best dressed is gonna go to Kermit. It originally was gonna go to Conan, but Kermit just for this one sentence, it said Kermit wore enormous red shorts that came down nearly to his ankle, like a John Cena. He's dressed like John Cena. <laughs> we got some red jankos. We got red jankos. <laughs> And my uh, alternate title is How About This Shit Again by R.L. Stein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I didn't pick any of these, so let's run it down. Uh, top Spook and Scare. I would say having multiple fire hoses aimed at me would be intimidating. What if they were penises, though? Then no problem, my man. Right. Uh, then we'll find out. That's right. <laughs> um... The best dressed, I gotta always give it to Andy. Psych, it goes to Conan, who wears a badass muscle shirt. Ooh, mm, that's right. That's His right. favorite muscle shirt, which shrinks down to nothing. Hot. Uh, that's hot. Mm-hmm. Um, alternate title, that's hot. <laughs> anyway, Dave, take it away. <laughs> End Goodbye. <of> the episode. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we could have done a, a a goosebumps death, but you guys need to give us more. We have one more left. Yeah, we'll, other than we'll save the review cause... that I decided to put in because we were at a four point five and I wanted to bump us up. Oh, hell so yeah. I wrote a silly one. If you see it, you'll know it's silly because I wrote it as me. It's it's a it's a silly one. Um, actually, before I even say anything, I should probably check and see if anyone else. Oh shit, someone named the dude 313 wrote one. That's pretty neat. Hell yeah. So uh it says these dudes are my booze. So we got some stuff to get to in the cool. coming episodes. We will kill your asses. Yeah. Lou, well, thank you so much for being excellent. here. Thank can you I, for taking your can time. Can I say one one last thing? Absolutely. Yeah. So in this also the um second part of what I read, when he's like uh his whole body buzz as if an electrical current were shooting through him, he shut his eyes and pressed both hands against his throbbing temples. So recently I had an incident where there was a, uh, a convention close to my house. I was like, let me walk to it. And um, I had some pizza and I have a little tummy rumbles in mm. pizza place. I was like, oh, let me go to the bathroom. And then a pack of like nine or 12 nerds came in and started using the bathroom. I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to try to walk home. And as I walked home, everything in the description was what I felt. So I felt what Evan felt and I had to run faster. I started sweating. My body started trembling. And I uh, shit my pants. <laughs> Are you as, serious? As an adult man, I shit my pants. Oh, my God. And I was with my brother. And uh, my brother, Ant, shout out to Ant. Uh, he looked me right in the eye as I was shitting my pants. <laughs> so you saw it into my soul. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Were, that's, you, were that's... you okay? Were you sick? No, I don't know what happened. I just okay. had some pizza. and Weird. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, Lactose intolerance, man. Yeah, they, that'll get you. That's why I got you saw my pills. Yeah. A uh, year ago, Royal Rumble, I always go to a buddy's house. I can't this year, but he was You're like, welcome to come over to my house for it. I got to be together. up super early the next day, and I know it ends at, like, my job's terrible. I gotta, I can't wake up at 5 a.m., like 4.30 to get to Jersey City. And uh, so he, he was like, what's your favorite cereal? And he bought us all milkshakes based on our favorite cereal. Ooh. And uh, this was a Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal uh, milkshake. I was like, it's so good. I haven't had ice cream forever. So I had it, and then it ends at midnight, and I'm like, I can get home. This is like, I don't know, like Bloomingdale, like up like yeah. that way. So it's like 45 minutes away. Yeah. So I'm driving back, and then I'm just like, uh-oh. And I'm like, I'm going to shit myself. And it's like I'm driving, like laying down straight. That's how I get it. <laughs> and I'm like completely clenched. And I'm like, I need to stop at a gas station. I need to do anything. But then I realized, did I say this on the podcast already? No. no. So every time I go, I'm not a wrestling fan. The first time we were invited there, me and my friends were like, well, it's a WrestleMania party or a Royal Rumble party. Oh, no, this was WrestleMania, actually, this one. So for WrestleMania the first year, we went on WWE.com and bought clearance John Cena outfits. We bought, like, it came with, like, the shirt, the hat, the dog tags, the armbands, the headbands, and we wore jorts. Mm Mm-hmm. So this year, I wanted to stop off at like a, uh, you know, any sort of gas station bathroom. So when I remembered, I had full gold dust face paint on. <laughs> you know the gold dust reference? I do. Okay. Yeah, so I was in full gold dust face paint. And I'm like, if I run in We're shitting like myself, <laughs> if I run in shitting myself past midnight at a gas station. You'd be my hero. But I, I was like, maybe I'll, I'll get to my parents at this point. At this point, it got to the point where it was so stuck in me that I was hurting. Ooh. I ran into this apartment, 
I park up front, ran in, and like once my ass hit the seat, I shit everything. <laughs> but I had to go back outside because not only I was like, wow, my front door is unlocked and open, my car door was still open. Wow. Car door open. It's like almost like a crime scene. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. But I made it. I made it. Good so you did. So you All I'm saying is that I, I made it. No, 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 no. I just made it a little farther before I'm going to shit myself. As we talked about with uh, George Brett. That's right. Once you hit a certain point, you're due to shit yourself at some point in your adult life. Yeah. That was just not my time. I'm glad but you made it. Yeah. Now thinking about it, if I did need to shit myself, I would want to be wearing Dustin Reynolds, Golda's face paint. And oh, I yeah. think that's a great place to end this yeah. podcast. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you for taking your time yeah, to be here. You Is there anything you'd like to plug or shill for at this time? Uh, just check out my uh, website, criticalhittattoo.com. I got a bunch of tour dates and some guest spots and some cool stuff coming up. And you can buy some neat merch. Hell yeah. If you're and, in the area, if you're in New Jersey and need a sweet tat, or even not in New Jersey, so, um, hit yeah, up Yeah, you span a whole lot. So mm-hmm. right now he's going to be in North Jersey. He's down in Somerville. So very close if you're in the Philly, Pennsylvania area. If you're in New York, you're going to be in Montclair for a little bit coming up. A couple days, yeah. You're all over the place. You have a whole tour that's going on for a couple different conventions. You're talking anime conventions, a couple other things that are on their way. So Nerd shit. You're going to be shit. all over the East Coast doing Nerd a- <laughs> if you want to see no such thing they're uh, all virgins if you want to see what he's uh capable of you can see the curly tattoo on my leg when this episode comes out check our instagram we're going to repost the links to that from our original interview where we talk about a little bit more of horror background so p reaper p reaper p reaper bye boo dudes, boo dudes. Boo dudes. eat my butt